There are millions of cars built every year. They roll off assembly lines in a torrent of steel and plastic, a testament to the power of mass production. But some cars are different. They are not just manufactured, they're crafted. They represent not just where we are, but where we are going. This is the story of one of those cars. A vehicle that doesn't just drive into the future, it is the future. We're going inside Toyota's Motomaki plant in Japan, a place with a legendary history, to witness the birth of a revolutionary vehicle, the hydrogen fuel cell-powered Mirai. If you're fascinated by the incredible processes behind the world's most advanced technologies, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss what we uncover next. This is the assembly line, but not as you might imagine it. It's clean, quiet, and operates with the precision of a Swiss watch. This is the physical manifestation of the world-renowned Toyota production system, a philosophy of relentless efficiency and uncompromising quality. Before a single bolt is turned, the entire process is a carefully choreographed dance. Here in the parts warehouse, every single component for every car has its place. A worker, guided by a digital manifest, moves through these aisles, a supermarket of automotive parts. They don't just grab parts at random. It's a system called just-in-time, ensuring that each workstation receives exactly what it needs, exactly when it's needed. Every bin, every part, every label is scanned, tracked, and verified, eliminating waste and ensuring a flawless flow from shelf to chassis. The journey of the car itself begins at the trim line. Here, a pristine, painted body shell the body in white arrives, a blank canvas awaiting its identity. This is where the human touch is paramount. Teams of highly skilled technicians, known in Toyota as Takumi, or master craftsmen, begin the intricate process of bringing the car to life from the inside out. They are not just line workers, they are artisans. Watch the focus, the economy of motion. They install the complex nervous system of the vehicle, the wiring harness, a dizzying web of cables and connectors that will control everything from the power windows to the advanced safety systems. Every connection is made by hand with a tactile click that confirms a perfect fit. The dashboard, a massive pre-assembled module containing the instrument panel, climate controls and infotainment systems is hoisted into place. Every task is double-checked, every bolt torqued to an exact specification all recorded for a complete quality history of the vehicle. While the body is being meticulously outfitted, a parallel story is unfolding on the chassis line. This is where the Mariah's revolutionary heart is built. This is not an internal combustion engine. This is a fuel cell stack. In simple terms, it's a miniature power plant. It takes hydrogen gas from its tanks and combines it with oxygen from the air. The resulting chemical reaction produces two things, electricity to power the car and pure, clean water, its only emission. This complex stack is carefully assembled with its associated pumps and compressors. And here are the fuel tanks. These aren't simple steel containers. They are multi-layered, carbon-fiber-wound pressure vessels engineered to withstand immense pressure with absolute safety. Each tank undergoes rigorous pressure testing and leak checks, ensuring its integrity before it ever gets near a vehicle. This is technology born from aerospace, applied to the open road. The fuel cell stack and the hydrogen tanks are then mounted onto the car's subframe, joining the electric motor, suspension, and braking systems. The result is a single, complete powertrain and chassis module. It contains everything that makes the car go, stop, and handle. This entire unit is a masterpiece of packaging and engineering, ready for the most dramatic moment of the assembly process. This moment is known in the industry as the marriage. The fully trimmed body, suspended from an overhead carrier, glides silently into position. From below, the completed chassis is raised by a hydraulic lift. Technicians guide the two massive components together with incredible care. 
Now, it truly begins to look like a car. The final major components are added. Technicians meticulously fit the doors, ensuring the panel gaps are perfectly even. The front and rear bumpers, complete with sensors and lighting, are carefully attached. And finally, the wheels and tires are mounted and torqued to spec. The car is now whole, and it rolls off the main assembly line under its own power for the first time. But the journey is far from over. Before this Mirai can be deemed ready for a customer, it must pass through the final gatekeeper. It enters a tunnel of lights, a brilliant, sterile environment designed to reveal any flaw. The walls and ceiling are lined with parallel fluorescent tubes, whose reflections create a series of stripes across the car's body. Any wave, dimple, or imperfection in the paint or sheet metal will distort these lines, making it immediately visible to the inspector's trained eyes. These are some of the most skilled technicians in the entire plant. They scan every inch of the vehicle, running their gloved hands over the surfaces, feeling for imperfections too subtle for the eye to see. They check the alignment of every panel, the fit of every piece of trim, ensuring that the final product meets the legendary Toyota standard of quality. After the visual inspection, the car is subjected to its final performance tests. On a dynamometer, or rolling road, the car is accelerated through its full range, testing the fuel cell, the electric motor, and the braking systems under simulated driving conditions. Every function is checked, from the headlights and turn signals to the complex infotainment system inside. Finally, after countless checks, after the work of hundreds of hands and machines, the Toyota Mirai is complete. It drives off the line silent powerful and producing nothing but water from its tailpipe. It's a rolling piece of the future built today.